Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and we are making an end of uh, the the Worms, uh, what is this called? The Worms Rock Fortress. We are sieging this, alright? We're taking them all out. It is what it is. Uh, some of them may actually just be innocent watch, but unfortunately, like, Gortash is pin them against us and it's there's no way for us to know which ones are true bainites and which ones aren't so since they're going to attack us on site we just we got we got to do what we got to do okay i also no not that one wow that would have been bad actually that would have been a bad misclick we didn't want to actually go and do that so All right. Oh no. I don't I don't want to know. I don't want to know about the people we're killing right now. Stealing from your comrades, are you? Shame on you. The fist can't trust each other. We stand no chance against our enemies. Okay. I, I was expecting some, like, note from a child being like, Daddy, I hope you come home alive and well. Just to make me feel bad. I mean, we're, we're still probably going to find something like that. Um, let's go and loot the rest of the bodies out here, because... They'll probably have keys to some of those chests. Why do you got so much food, bro? Making sure that I didn't add something in there I didn't want to. I don't think that I did. That is... What just happened? What did I do? We good? I think we're good. Okay. Bro, really? What's going on? Get in that bag. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. at the ready impossible really okay no one's weird stopped me yet unexpected need to find a way forward open up Jimmy on the go. Ah! Wow, there's actually a lot of them. Ah! 
Okay, it's trying to figure out if it hit or not. <laughs> there we are. Okay, let's figure out where we're gonna put our, our giant ice storm. Okay, where can I get... I think four is the most I'm gonna get. Okay, some decent crowd control across the board. And then move back. wilding out here. He's like, let me punch explode this, uh, this light here. Making my move. <laughs> okay, circle of death could be pretty effective in the right spot. Right there's pretty good. Is there anywhere where I can get better? I mean, technically that would do some friendly fire, but I think it's going to hit a lot of people, so I'm going to do it. People are getting bullied. Okay, that was actually pretty effective. You don't get better AC, bro. Put that away. <laughs> and then he falls over. Oh, oh, what I'm doing is insulting to these poor people. But the people who are left here, especially like the attendants and stuff, all of the other ones were murdered, the ones who went against Gortash. So these guys I don't feel bad about. They may not necessarily know what their masters did, but like they're defending, they're defending the group that are supporting Gortash, so. Just enough to kill him, too. Brilliant. Um, let's see, is there fire that I can make use of? See, it's okay, because you've already done your move, so you're good. 
You're good, bro. On I go. All right. Um, two left. One here and one there. Finish it. 50 50. Yeah, buddy. There you go. That's all right. You did your job. <laughs> yeah, it's cute that he thinks that that's going to do anything. No choice but to keep going. Um, let's drop concentration on that. And I think that'll explode if it's in the fire, right? Those are the exploding ones, right? Noxious fumes. Yeah. Honestly, probably not as effective as other things that we could do, but. I think you can take me on. That is okay. I suppose Defend we should people. probably try and get speak with dead active. Did I not? Huh, that was weird. Guess it doesn't matter unless we find somebody that we murder that we need to talk to, which I don't think is happening right now. Okay, get that back on. No one back home will ever believe this. Such a loot whore. Let's go. Let's go. Loot whore Christmas. And I don't need any of this because I have so much already. But if you think I'm going to stop, you are wrong. If you thought I was going to stop, you're just really making a fool of yourself.
Alright, you know what? We really don't need food. I am going to actually start being a little bit more choosy about what I take. We're just so far beyond needing a lot of this stuff. Okay, we've already got some of those hand crossbows. That's a lot of javelins. Two to twelve. Send those to Carlock and we'll check those. Okay, I think the prison is the first thing I want to do. Go and talk to Ansor. So that's what we're going to head towards. Uh -oh. Okay, I was getting a little worried there for a second. Um, how we doing? We're looking pretty good. Let's get in there. You had seven HP? You poor, poor thing. You should have sat this one out, bro. Just saying. That feast is actually quite good. Finding my way. damage. Covered. Oh, that's 
a cool ability, whatever it is. being weird. I'll take that. Okay, let's do a quick save. And then we'll do a quick load and see if we can loot those bodies. Something weird happened in there. Huh. Is this happening to even some of the... Marching. Yeah, what's going on here? Weird. Ah, uh, are the gods truly this petty? That shouldn't be happening, Shadowheart. We got rid of your little curse. <laughs> it really doesn't want us to loot these guys. All right, I guess for now we'll just leave them, and then maybe when we come back up, maybe I don't know. When we load back into this area from downstairs, maybe it'll be normal again. Just in this room too. Guarantee one of them has the key that I need for this damn door. Gate. And lock picking is impossible. Let's Great. Get going. Okay. Swift as my feet can <laughs> carry me. There's a way around this. <laughs> you can see this is a report of minor fines inflicted upon the citizens of Baldur's Gate. The fines range from petty to flatly ridiculous, including fines for parking your dog near a public building. Aside from that observation, the report is tedious drudgery. This insidious and frightening book includes many tips for profiling, perspective, and apparently doubtless active criminals. It is a lesson in abject and narrow-minded stupidity, and has probably resulted in more confusion and ill-favored bedlam than any actual warranted arrest. Sounds about right. Something good here, I hope. Give it a shot. What am I needed? I'll see what I can Okay, well, at least uh, lock picking isn't impossible on these. Looking ahead. Moving ahead. Maybe I need more pockets.
Written by an older member of the uh, Order of the Flaming Fist, this transfer request despairs at the state of the Order, claiming it's gorged itself fat on bribes and grudges and capricious jelly spine bullshit like that, it concludes. So you see, I want out. I want out now while I've got some good memories of the Fist not singed or burnt up completely. And I want to keep them that way. I expect you to arrange this, my friend, because not doing so will result in a lot of trouble for you, I guarantee it. Well, hopefully he got out before everything got this bad. Ethical Review of the Flaming Fist This review of the quotidian operations of the Flaming Fist Order was written by the Patriarch's appointed panel, namely its spokesperson, Ksenia Sester. She is, in a word, scathing in her appraisal. She compares the fist to a wormy gangplank, once useful, now creaking and bound to break apart and crumble any day. She writes, I have seen more moral and ethical perception in my one-year-old who excavates his nose with a <laughs> crayon daily than in this order of supposed adults. Um, isn't crayon a brand, not necessarily a thing? Like, a crayon is based off of the name of a brand, so that's a, <laughs> that's a weird choice to use in a fictional world. Is that true? Anything of use? Maybe it's not. Maybe crayon is the word. I mean, we've got Crayola, the crayon company, but... I don't know. Somebody let me know. I really don't care that much, but... Still watch deliveries. Arriving tomorrow from the Still Watch Foundry, Still Watch Units 32, 33, 34, all charged, activated, and ready for duty assignment. Accordingly, dispatch a reliable fist officer to the lower city to receive shipment. Controller, Chapman, gl glued. Lorix demotion notice. Whereas I, Grand Duke Older Raven Guard, am acting head of the Flaming Fist Mercenary Company, and whereas I have found Counselor Floric guilty of crimes against the city of Baldur's Gate, therefore be it resolved that Floric be stripped of any and all authority over the Flaming Fist, and all orders issued by Floric, past, present, and future, be rendered null and void. In witness whereof, Lord Enver Gortash, Duke Dillard Porter, Gauntlet, Edwina Wallace. him. Yeah, you're right, hard. Damn it, I need to be able to loot to be able to no get these keys. Otherwise I'm never going to be able to open that.
Okay. Further into the prison. Yeah, we're gonna be out of uh, rage charges soon if we're not careful. The hammer's gonna fall. So much for peace. Okay, let's see. Oh, I want to counterspell that counterspell. Is Will not close enough? He must be right out of range. That sucks so bad. All right, that's okay. You can't do it twice unless you're bugged like the last person was and get, get two reactions for some reason. Fall by my hand. Brilliant. God, I got a good team. Also, this these guys are just time. so weak. <laughs> the these poor people. <laughs> She did get the spores. Good. Okay. Oh, please fall prone. Please fall prone. I would laugh so hard. Damn, the psionic backlash did 16 damage. All right, well done. Something good here, I hope. Okay, we looted everything in that room already. Now, I don't even Another know where forward. we need to go for this. We know it's somewhere in the prison, but... Okay, nothing back here, so far as I can tell. Maybe in one of these cells. There wasn't anything up here, but maybe there's something new to find now that we know that we need to come down here. And there was something about braziers and um, electric, um, electric something. Curse to put my hands on everything. Sharp as ever. Breathe deep and move. Unusual skull. The True Life of Lord Gortash, a biography and manuscript by Vance Farnell, outlines the content, uh, outline of contents final pass. 
and Ver Flim, an orphan among urchins, struggle for survival on the streets, juvenile felonies, the Flim rap sheet, gang years, the heapside reavers, same face, new name, Flim to Gortash. The Gates posh kingpin and independent entrepreneur, rivals, all of the rivals are dead. Muscling in on armed smuggling, the Zents, day is past. The black hand of Bane shakes the bloody hand of Balt. How did he get this whole story? Well done, sir. Too bad you're dead because of it now. <laughs> Not even everything is enough. An absolutely ingenious plan, the gravitas of Catherick Thorm, decapitating the Gondian hierarchy, call me Lord Gortash. Note, add section about the steel watch with info acquired from interviewing that Gondian who escaped the foundry, something about how the watchers are Gortash's most powerful defenders, but also his greatest vulnerability since they're all controlled from one central nexus. The pride of the gate. Oh, hi? I've got a long road ahead. Who's this? One day I'll catch a break. I, th I don't think this person was here last time. Because I thought I looked in all of them, but who knows? Maybe I wasn't close enough. Who are you, bro? What do you want? I can help you escape. I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep it that way. I mean, all the guards are dead, bro. Just saying. All right. That's where Floric was. Is there anything special in this one? Entrance in Worms Rock Prison. Something about sparks and torches. Use lightning skills. Okay, where are the torches then? I wonder if they're in that back room. Well, why does it keep doing that? That's so weird. Torches back here somewhere. Oh, here's a bunch of torches along this hallway. Seems simple enough. Okay, this is a level 3 spell. I don't really have a lot of this to go around. Um, do I have anything low level I can use that's lightning? Not really. Just destroyed it. Maybe breakable walls, too. It may be some hidden area further in that the lightning comes into play, so. On my way. This water's only here because we put it there. Let's see what this does. Oh, look, it's freaking marked on the map. <laughs> well done, me. Um, so it's somewhere over here. Ah, Dragon's Head Torch. 
Okay. Okay, everybody get out of the way. Please. Alright, is this wide enough to get both? No. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Brilliant. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, what do we? It's good to be alive. We have one more Always rage charge ends. left. Not as bad as it could have. With haste. That's curious. No traps, please. Hey, this could be a whole thing down here. All for me. Here we go. We might have a full ass dungeon. I could see it going both ways, either like really, really short or really, really long. Journal of Past Adventures number one. The Worm's Lair, incredible, the legends were true, and we've marked our place among them. We'll prove our worth with unrusted swords and meet the dragon, the good dragon, or so we pray. God's bless I'm our endeavor. I can't wait to sleep. Yeah, no kidding. This seems like magical. There's like, there's something going on with this. A stunning vista. A dragon and elf surveying the city of Baldur's Gate. Vista. A dragon and elf surveying the city of Baldur's Gate. What's this? An elf and a dragon watching over Baldur's Gate. My Making me sweat. Baldur and the dragon admire what they made. Baldur's Gate. Never a dull moment. Seems simple enough. Baldurin sails away and leaves the dragon to watch over his city. Do the histories make mention of this? Incredible. An elf and a bronze dragon. Allies at sea. statue before you bears a familiar likeness. It is Balduran, the celebrated adventurer who founded the city of Baldur's Gate. Peril floods my province. The palisades fall, the earth does tremble. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber, awaiting a true hero's advent. Should my domain drown in torment. Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic nonsense. There is no one and no savior. Why would he want to turn us away from this, huh, Emperor? You cannot be trusted. Arcana, examine the statue, what magic might be at work. God damn it. One more. 
probably isn't even important. You sense neither life nor spirit within the statue. A powerful variant of magic mouth has been cast on it, allowing it to speak only recorded messages. Presumably from Baldurin himself, although that's not necessarily guaranteed. What are you? What is this place? The statue gives no response. I am worthy. Open the way. Ancient Ansor, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. Dude, look at this place. Holy shit. This is cool. All right, I think I need a long rest. My faith will guide me. Still breathing, despite everything. All right, we can probably get through one more fight. But... How old is this place? Yeah, this is really cool. This place is quite a find. Imagine all the people going about their lives unaware of what their city is hidden away. This place is astonishing. A bard's legend made real. Thought this place was just a legend. <laughs> Tall tales just keep coming true. Might be useful. Shrouded. Something's going on over there. Courage, insight, strategy, justice. Face my tests. Prove your worth. Prove your worth to the heart of the gate. Only then may you enter. The Judge. A Shroud of Dark Justice. Paintings hung on the wall. Almost like an art gallery. A true champion knows justice and eliminates those who stand in its way. Restore the balance of justice. Justice. No pardon without repentance, and no penalty without mercy. The right path often lies between the extremes. Okay. Thank you for the wise words, Will. I'll keep them in mind. Wise indeed. Though... I can't take credit. It was my father who taught me the ways of the just. Okay, the induction, the theft, the chase, the judgment. All right, these might give us clues. Oh, there's even more. The apple, the child. Okay, let's let's, let's read these before talking to the judge. The apple. The painting depicts a red-haired man stealing a shiny apple from a cart in an open-air market. Oh, God. Who's my best at history? <laughs> this is going to be a thing, isn't it? History. Plus three, minus one, plus one, plus three. So Shadowheart and Vernac. depicts a red head. You know this market, the wide, where Baldur's Gate citizens and visitors gather to conduct trade and wax political. What to do? OK. 
Okay, so was that a successful check? It doesn't say that Shadowheart even did one. That's weird. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. My, my, Cursed to put my hands on everything. The child. A red-haired man is portrayed with his cloak's hood lowered, giving an apple to a smiling urchin. Several other children are huddled behind the one receiving the apple, hands outstretched. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. The induction. A red-haired man is depicted in hushed conversation with a dark-haired woman. She wears a cloak with an unusual symbol on it. Tally marks totaling the number nine. Hmm. Weird runes up here, too. The theft. A red-haired man is depicted in the Hall of Wonders, thieving what looks to be a priceless artifact. It's an astrolabe of entrapment. It could hold a dozen gin within it, perhaps even more. I wonder if that's similar to the this, the iron flask that we have. Except it only holds one being, but I think. Will fit in my bag. So he was inducted into some kind of like thieves guild or some something to get this item after he was seen stealing an apple and giving it to a child. Yes? The chase. A red-haired man is depicted running through the city streets, a flaming fist officer chasing just behind. A cloaked woman, hair dark as a raven, looks on from a safe distance. The Judgment. A stern judge, his pockets full of coin, orders a red-haired man to the gallows. A shiny apple rests on the ground nearby. Okay. I should speak up. Away! Behold, the paintings tell the tale. My judgment is rendered. The thief earns his due. Shrouded paintings, empty niche. Huh. The shadows are blocking me. I need to get rid of them somehow. Okay, so light didn't do it. Um, let's read Shrouded. It's a curse. Okay. We can deal with a curse. Um, do we have to do it on each one of these? Because uh, that's a level 5 spell. Um, let's see. Is Lesser Restoration also? So that one's Greater Restoration. Lesser? Cures a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. No. To remove a curse... Or a curse afflicting it. So we do need this one. Okay. Um... Well, you're not gonna have... Enough for more than one. Let's move. Hmm. No! The judge has spoken. The crime must be punished. Okay. There is work to do. Take kill you. Okay. We only needed the one. Let's get going. The hanging. A red-haired man is depicted hanging from a gallows as a crowd looks on. 
You notice a child in the crowd, a falling tear leaving a trail on his cheek. Freedom. A red-haired man walks the streets of Baldur's Gate, clad in a billowing cloak. You catch a glimpse of a sly smile beneath his hood and a golden coin in his hand. A thief walks free. Is this truly justice? The cell. A stern prison guard slides a warm meal into the thief's cell. The red-haired man has a ten-day left to serve, judging by the scratchings on the wall behind him. Okay. The story tells the tale of two different thefts, though. The theft of the apple and the theft of this item. This seems like the one he was caught for, but there's an allusion to the red apple in the final judgment. So if I'm supposed to, like... This seems like the punishment for taking the artifact. This seems like the punishment for taking the apple. And obviously going free doesn't seem like the right punishment for anything. Am I supposed to take one of these to put in or one of these as the uh, punishment? The child that received the apple was crying here. The cell. A stern prison red-haired man has... I mean, if we take Will's comment from before, he said the thing that's in between the extremes is generally the right answer so i'm gonna go with this one um it it does seem like more li more than li likely um you would probably be put to death for this robbery and then you would probably do this one for this one but um the principle of the sentence being proportional to the crime you are Paragon of Justice, proceed. Yeah, that's so weird, because there's two crimes. They were all the red-haired man, right? The apple. The painting. Yeah, I mean, it's all the red-haired man, so it depicts two different crimes, and then... I, I feel like they, um... muddied the waters a little bit with that overall story. Moving ahead. Hmm. Okay, that's one thing down. Man, you are running out of spell slots. Cemetery Blue Torch. The Chamber of Courage. This one might be a fight. A champion burns bright, even when rushing waters and moaning winds threaten to extinguish the flames. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your courage. Withstand the elements. Okay. Um, I am at time, so I'm going to do this in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.